This is Timer Pro on an iPhone. Obviously because of the screen size we've had to make some adjustments to the program to make everything fit on the, the small screen. However, it's installed exactly the same as you would install any other iPhone application from the App Store. And once installed you get the icon on the, uh, on the screen here. We can tap on that and it'll open it up here. And you'll see it says Timer Pro version 11 at the top here. All the options are exactly the same here. The main differences occur in the um, data collection area. So if I open the last used study here by tapping on it, you'll see here we're obviously dealing with a far smaller screen here. But all the buttons that you have in the iPad are actually available to you to work with. And uh, you can scale them and everything here. Here's the screen configuration here. The, the new features that lets you say how many columns and how many rows you want to deal with and the different font sizes you want to deal with as well, and whether you want to display the rating and quantity keypad. You will have to scroll a little bit on the iPhone to see all the options, uh, because it's just such a small screen and we have to make it usable here. So if I wanted to change it, for instance, to, uh, um, let's say, instead of making I'm going to make it uh, three rows, and just click on set, save for this template, and then click on the back, now see you've got everything in three areas here. Right, so obviously you can change the size to uh, the appropriate size for the study you're going to be working with. So I'll put it by number of columns, I'll say two, and number of rows I'm going to put back into like say six. And save for the template and then go back. And this time you see six columns here. You can see here it will pick up the uh, the data formats. Uh, those formats, if I just say I want to uh, um, see I'm done, now, the done button is up at the top here so on the uh, iPhone, click the done these are the selection formats here and you can see down at the bottom here you have all the different options and you can set the fonts and everything just like you did in the iPhone here, so it's exactly the same here so the main difference though is in the data collection area so if I open up the last used study again here um, you'll see here these little arrows here and these arrows here now if I start the study here you see you can time it and you hit the time button and it will move on to the next one here now you can only see one element at a time here because of the size of the screen but if you take your finger and you just this is what this is telling you you take the finger put it on let's say just about here and then just swipe up the way and you'll see it will show you the last three elements here so you can see you can hit the time and now you see each of the elements going in here and you can also scroll up and down through this listing here as I'm doing right here to see the data Right. Now the other option you have here, obviously you saw it in the screen configuration area here, you had this display rating and quantity and I'm saying it's available to you here. So if I just go back here, the way you get that is to scroll down from the top here, you see the little drop down arrow here. So if you take your finger, push it back down, it goes away. I can take my finger and just maybe put my finger just below the arrow here and sweep down and you'll see that it brings up the rating keyboard and the quantity here. Uh, so if I was running here and maybe this guy's packing, he's not quite going as, as quick as I'd like, I can tap on the 85 here. It changes 85 down here and it, that will remain there as I make subsequent observations until I decide to change it again. So if I wanted to just maybe change it to 95, I just tap on the 95 now and it goes to 95, you can see it down here. Right. Same if you want to add a quantity. So the quantity keypad works the same way as it does on the iPad. So let's say you see I'm packing four, so you can put a four in here by uh, tapping the four right here. Tap that, it puts the four up at the top here, you can see the four here. If he adds another one, you can hit the plus sign here, and it will go to five. Another one goes to six. Another one goes to seven, then he takes one back out minus takes it back down again and then of course when you hit the uh, the time button down here to record the activity that activity is going to be recorded with that quantity it resets it to zero but to hide the uh, the keypad you just swipe up the way with your finger and that takes it away again so other than that all of the options are basically the same as they were on the iPad uh, just remember you swipe up from the bottom here to show more elements you swipe down at the top to show the rating and quantity keypads